We want people here. Hi. It's making it straighter. My Virgo perfections were needing adjustments. <laughs> right, say hi when you're here, guys.
all the full moons are most powerful, but the new moon was as well, and maybe because it was solar eclipse, um, solstice, so we're not on solstice right now, solstice is next week, um, but we are in a total solar eclipse right now. So, hi Lee, so there's a few here from Melbourne as well, welcome, welcome. So, alright, so one thing I just want to explain is basically I'm taking you on a journey taking you on a journey tonight so you can listen with earphones is probably best or whatever's works for you it's all good um, have some water there because the energy from our ceremony goes into your water and then we also drink that water so you can have that close by was called to have lots of clear quartz here today so there's a big cluster of clear quartz and we have a crystal grid of clear quartz Selenite. So I'm taking you on a journey, I'm taking you on a guided meditation if you may. I feel this, I was getting, I get all these messages as I'm setting up and preparing for ceremony. So we're going to, well I am assuming we're going to be taking a ride, <laughs> going for a journey to reclaim parts of ourselves. So Astrologically, right now, we're also clearing out issues and stuff that was going on from 10 years ago. So, there's a lot shifting out right now. But there's also a huge portal where we're stepping into of December 21st and the 25th and going into the 1st of January where there's a high frequency potent portal of light that is infiltrating into our planet, which most are already feeling now. And so, this I want to explain to you, like a lot of us have been feeling stretched and like really like at our end stretched. Now for a while I've been saying that the um, polarities are stretching, like what are the words are that I said, like the bandwidth is expanding, that's what I've been saying, the bandwidth is expanding, yeah, so everyone's like, yeah, there's more light and like, yeah, there's more dark, everybody's like, yes, that's right. So it's expanding in both directions, right? And just in the past two weeks, I got this message earlier today and I'm like, oh, that's what's been going on, right? So in the past two weeks, the bandwidth is like expanding, expanding, expanding and like reaching its tether almost, reaching its end. And everyone's like, ah, oh, what's happening? Like the past two weeks, right? And then it's just, I feel like from this eclipse, which will peak in a few minutes soon, probably in about 10 minutes or so, I think, from memory. Um, the, the bandwidth is expanding and it's like, I've got the message today, they showed me it's like this ping back and it's gonna like ping back and then it's kind of like over the December 21st portal, it's gonna like kind of settle into a wave frequency. So settling into a wave frequency that is like a whole new vibration. So it's like this bandwidth is expanding in the light and the dark and it's like, oh, what's happening? And it's like ping back and then we're gonna be like this. So the next few weeks, the next few months, even because that settling of that band, the new bandwidth frequency, the new consciousness layer in our solar system, in our planet, in our world, in your life, is <laughs> going to be like a big adjustment, right? But it's definitely something that we can adjust to. So, all right. All right, so. Hi, Leon. Hi. All right. So we're going to start, we're going to start, so you can, I'm not sure what the cat's doing over there, but just running them up. <laughs> Alright, so as you arrive, you're just arriving, we're just about to start, so it's perfect timing. So you can keep your eyes open or you can gently close them and going to come into a space where we are connecting with your breath, connecting with your heart, connecting, slowing down, being conscious that we are about to come into the peak total solar eclipse so as you bring your awareness to the energies outside of us 
out at the moon, at the sun, at our earth, in the total solar eclipse alignment. Gently closing your eyes or keeping them open as you allow yourself to breathe into your breath. Breathe into your breath. Breathe into your breath. As you inhale. And exhale. Being consciously aware of your breath. Notice your chest gently rise as you inhale and gently fall as you exhale. Allowing your mind to follow your breath. Noticing the sensation of your clothes touching your skin as you inhale. Your chest gently expanding and then as you exhale, and gently falling. You start to breathe deeper and slower with every single inhale and every single exhale. You allow your mind to follow your breath. You allow your body to relax by telling your body, it is safe for me to relax right now. It is safe for me to breathe deeper right now. As you become acutely aware of what the sensation of your clothes feel like on your skin, the way your body is sitting or laying, listening, and noticing if your mind wanders or whether you can bring it back to your breath, your inhale, and your exhale. As you allow your breath to bring you to utter presence. It's not about trying to stop thought. It's about observing our thought. Whilst being intimately connected to your breath, to your inhale. And your exhale. As you allow yourself to become conscious of your heart. As you feel your chest gently rise as you inhale. And gently fall as you exhale. You become conscious of your heart. Your physical heart beating. Your energetic heart. Notice how your heart feels. You notice the frequency and energy around your heart. You notice if your heart energy is expanded and wide open or is it contracted and small. Breathing deeply as you connect with your heart. You notice that your heart lights up with a particular color. And as your heart lights up, you notice that four beams of energy stream out. One in front of you, one behind you, two to the sides of you one above you and one below you, so six in total. 
you have activated your internal compass. You may sense that your front of your heart is connected to the norm. It could be the technical norm or it could be the norm that feels correct in alignment for you with your sense of direction and please trust that as you consciously notice the energy beam out of your heart all the way to the direction to the norm you notice how thick or thin this energy is how bright or dull this energy is if it is dull or thin I want you to consciously expand it simply by imagining it so you notice the beam out the back of your heart connects to the south. You check the south. Is it thick or thin, dull or bright? What colour is it out the back of your heart? And you notice how the centre of your heart glows and pulsates with a beautiful, gentle pulsation of light amplifying through the front of your heart and the back of your heart as you notice to your right the east the beam of light through your heart through your side out the way all the way to the direction to the east this pulsating of energy expanding through the beams of light coming from within you your direction to your left, the west lights up. This beam of light activating all the way to the west. You notice the pulsating beams of light. You notice how your body feels simply from the north, south, east, west. Activated from your heart. From nothing else but your heart. Breathing deeper, allowing yourself to anchor this light into your heart and through your entire body as you notice the beam of light shoots down below you in the earth. The direction below ignites this beam of light through your base chakra, through your feet, grounding you, connecting you, anchoring you into the center of our earth. through dimensional portals if you may, connecting you to the highest vibration of light. You notice the pulsating, the oscillating light through you. As you notice the beam shoots up to the sky, through the center of your heart, through the center of your crown, the above activated through you. And you know all of us around the world are also activating the north, south, east, west, the above and the below all at the same time. This energy frequency through our entire planet now. You get a sense of where we are sitting on the earth. Each of us in these different places around the earth all activating this internal compass. Highlighting this light frequency, this heart frequency on our earth now as you notice the total solar eclipse the beautiful alignment as you sit here in the center of your being the totality of who you are connected anchored pure heart frequency through your whole body gently pulsating oscillating you notice how all our north, south, east, west, our above's and our below's all connect to one another. And how the energy of the portal of the total solar eclipse clears away anything from your life. Anything that has been hanging in your energy field, gone. And she gently lines up. And as she shifts for a whole new cycle, everything is being cleared, carved away, shedded through your aura allowing you to be clear, as clear as you've ever been. Notice how your body feels. Notice how your physical body feels. Notice how your nervous system feels. 
Notice how your aura feels. Notice how your heart feels. In frequency and alignment as the total solar eclipse aligns you. Anchoring you with your divine frequency. With your heart. The north, south, east, west, the above and the below, gently holding us, creating a sacred geometric shape around your body, like two pyramids, one on top and one below, meeting at the north, south, east, west as it creates a square around you, and the above and the below, creating two points, the two pyramid points. You are in an octagon, an octagon of light that lights up, that is all powered from your heart, your powerful heart, your intuitive heart. The core of who you are is everything that lights up your heart. Remember this, next time you are down or sad, ask your heart. What will light you up again? Show me where my joy is. Follow your heart. That cliche saying is the answer. If you will only trust it. I want you to notice that your octagon is like lifting you up from where you are sitting now and carrying you up through the roof, out to the stars, wherever you are. It is carrying you up into the sky and over across our earth. You notice where your octagon is taking you and you notice around our earth that you can see as you look around or imagine, maybe you feel, maybe you know. You can see other octagons, you can see all of us. You can see that we are all meeting in the sky. All floating in our octagons of light. All supported and strengthened by our heart. By our octagon. The north, south, east, west, the above and the below. All anchored, activated, alive. You notice we all start moving together to a place on earth that you may or may not recognize, but it is a huge pine forest. And you notice that over the pine forest, there is a big clearing. As we all land down in the big clearing, all landing gently on our feet, our octagons of light still activated. You notice in the center of the clearing is a big fire. You notice what color the fire is. And you notice we all stand around this fire. All our octagons still activated through this light. You notice if it is a normal fire or whether it is like a certain color of platinum fire or like a liquid fire, plasma fire, like water, the water plasma fire is something that has been consistent through our ceremonies for eons of time, back to when the priestesses reigned. The high priests, the wizards reigned. You notice the fire crackles with this liquid crackle sound. You notice your feet on the earth surrounded by the beautiful pine forest. And you sense through the pine forest all the animals there, even ancestors ancient ones who have joined this sacred space. You notice 
notice that your octagon lights up with the same colour and frequency as the fire. And you notice that all of a sudden that square around you actually splits in two. So there's actually three. One goes above you, one goes just below you, and the other one is still in the middle. So all of a sudden it is like there is a rectangle prism around you. So there is a square with the pyramid just above you. And it comes down below you. So there is like three squares all in alignment. This is activated through the 12 strand DNA, the 12 dimensions. As you notice and recognize everyone around you the same, you notice and recognize that it feels different. The atmosphere has changed. You notice the ancient ones walking out of the forest and standing behind us in this sacred ceremony. You notice that your rectangle prism around you with the points on the top and the bottom expands again. So there is an extra layer outside. It is still the same inside, but it is just expanded. So it is like a double prism, double pointed, terminated. You notice the energy frequency, you notice what that feels like. You notice the fire gently calms down to a gentle ember glow. You notice that at a certain part of the forest, there's a pathway there. As the ancient ones nudge us to walk through this pathway, we all walk together, noticing our prisms around us of light, activated, supporting us, changing our frequency through this journey, upgrading your body, your blood, your awareness, your consciousness container that activates within your cells of your being right into the core of the DNA and inside your DNA. Inside, inside, inside. So that you can anchor the light we are being gifted on the planet right now. Notice your body as we walk through this forest. You notice that up ahead is a big cliff face with enough room for us all to stand on the edge of this cliff at the edge of this beautiful pine forest. The pine tree clears generational karmic lineage in this lifetime and every single lifetime that we've been recycled on this planet. It clears all the generations of every lineage that we have entered into this portal of this dimension. So notice how your body feels with this awareness as the pine clears your field of anything that is no longer serving your consciousness level. You hear a sound and you notice the atmosphere change again and in the distance we can all see all these dots coming closer. You recognize they are dragons. As they get closer, you notice that your dragon has turned up, or if you've never met your dragon spirit guide before, you are now. You notice your dragon hovering in front of you. You notice its size, you notice its color, you notice its scales and you notice its eyes. You connect with your dragon. As your dragon turns to gently allow you to climb on. You feel safe to climb onto your dragon and you notice how it feels. 
as we all fly out together. And you recognize what is beneath us as we fly and you recognize that we are not on earth anymore. You notice what is beneath us, above us, around us. You notice the atmosphere and how your clothes, your hands feel, your legs, your body feels flying on your dragon. You notice if you are wearing the same clothes or shoes or dragon rider shoes or noticing what you are wearing and you look at everybody flying with us, are they the same too or have they changed? Morphed with their dragon. Connection. Deep heart activation is the dragon's gift. When your dragon shows up, your heart frequency has expanded and remembered who you are. And you notice as we fly, there is like a big, almost looks like the moon coming into focus, coming closer. You notice her silver light, even in her dark moon phase. You notice as we all fly, hover around her, as we all form a circle, you notice that she expands out beneath us, above us, surrounding us. It's like we are in the moon now. And you notice that in the center is a huge crystal. You recognize what crystal this is. You notice this crystalline energy is pouring, activating into you like a beautiful beam of light. Or perhaps it is wisps of light. Perhaps it is more like waves of light. Perhaps it is like bubbles of light. Notice what this crystal is activating for you, through you, with your dragon. You notice that your dragon is getting closer and closer to this crystal. And you notice that as we get closer to the crystal, it is like recognizing how huge this crystal is. As we get closer and closer to the crystal, you realize that your dragon is flying straight through the crystal and in and down through the crystal. You notice how you feel as your dragon takes you down. Through this portal, it is like a channel of light. You notice what color it is how it feels, and you notice that you, it is just you and your dragon now. You notice that your dragon is taking you somewhere, and you know that you are safe with your dragon. Your dragon looks at you as it flies, and its eyes activate through your eyes, your heart frequency, the remembrance of the core of who you are, your ultimate pristine, angelic you. Deeply grounded on this earth. So present with your dragon as you notice that it comes to a big cave. It is just you and your dragon in this cave and you notice what fills this cave. Is there a waterfall? Is there crystals? Can you see? Is there light? Is there water? Is there rocks? Take a look around, knowing that this is a sacred place that you can return to at any time. This is specific to you. Notice what your dragon shows you in this space. Perhaps there is a healing crystal bed that you take rest in and allow your dragon to activate you. You notice that there is particular messages about your life purpose, about your chosen next steps, about your 2021 and beyond. You 
and you notice how you feel in this space. You notice how your body feels as you feel your body shifting and changing at a cellular DNA structural level. As your dragon gently wakes you, you didn't even realize you had drifted off. You slowly get up, you notice the color of light in your cave. This is an activation of Zru, your aura, your auric fields, your chakra system. your crystic spiral system. You are ready to receive this new frequency that our planet is walking into. The waves of cosmos are already beginning to deliver. That you are at your natural core. And you gently climb upon your dragon Taking one last look around your cave as you feel the energy change, the atmosphere around you as you fly on your dragon's back, back through the channel, back through and up, 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 all the way up. You feel the atmosphere change, you notice the sensations. The energy as your dragon flies through these realms. The colors, the feelings, the thickness, the denseness or the lightness of the energy around you. Breathing deeply as you allow this into your body. You come back up to the crystal and you're up, out at the crystal, looking back at the crystal and, and you notice everybody coming back up out too as we all hover around the crystal, the divine moon holding us in her totality, her fullness of her silver light. As you notice and take a look at everybody, are they different, are they the same? Notice their dragons, are they different, are they the same? Breathe. You notice that the moon shrinks back over the crystal so that she is just sitting in front of us. As we all surround you, you notice our dragons start flying back, back over this earth place earth but it's not earth. This place, you notice what it looks like. You see as we fly back, back, back. You notice up ahead the cliff, the cliff space that we first met our dragons on. You notice there is enough space that our dragons actually land on this earth, back on the earth, next to the pine forest, next to the path that we entered through. You gently climb off your dragon and take a moment connecting with your dragon. Noticing if your dragon has any particular messages or how its eyes upgrade your energy frequency. So you connect with its soul. You are in awe of your dragon and can call on your dragon at any given moment in time. So 
we gently say goodbye to our dragon, or perhaps your dragon comes with you as we walk back down the path, noticing your body. Are you still wearing the same clothes? Are you different? Do you feel different? Do you look the same? As you walk back down, you see the fire risen, large, huge, and you notice its color. You hear the sound. As we stand back around the fire, you feel the dirt beneath your feet. Allow yourself to absorb this fire, this beautiful light, the ancient ones standing behind us as we walk upon the shoulders of giants. You may either sit down around the fire or stay standing as you feel the earth beneath your feet. You feel your heart connecting with the beautiful big pine trees and the ancient ones behind. You feel the fire igniting your fire through all of your Christic spiral system, your DNA, your Kundalini awakening. As you feel your body move, you may be dancing, you may be around. Allow that energy to stamp in your body. Breathe. Or you could be resting and that is totally okay. Give yourself permission to receive this frequency. I choose to let this energy into my body. I choose to allow this frequency to upgrade my systems. I choose to allow this to be my new energy frequency. I choose to adjust with ease, grace, and flow.
frequency alters, shifted with a deep remembrance of who you are, with your dragon still by your side because this powerful being has never left your side. And now you can call upon them whenever you choose to guide you, support you, take you for a ride and upgrade you, protect you, love you. You take a deep breath, gently moving your fingers, your toes, gently opening your eyes and coming back to full presence in the room, in the space where you are. Gently taking a drink of water. Whew. What a ride. <laughs> I love it when the dragons come to play. <laughs> oh, how special. So now we have a little debrief. You don't have to, of course, but it does help to bring you back and ground you. So I would love for you to share about your dragon, about your journey. What color, what sort of crystal was it? What color is the fire? How did you feel going down to your cave with your dragon? How did you feel when your dragon activated through your eyes? How how did you how do you feel now in your body? How did you feel when your internal compass expanded so you're inside a huge double terminated crystal point that is now your frequency, your activation that doubled outside. So there's two layers of it. This new energy frequency holding you. How did you how do you feel? Tell me, share. So we can have a share. <laughs> we can have a share and allow ourselves to debrief. I will obviously share my experience as well. And I'm happy for you guys to, when you share, I'm happy to kind of like intuitively receive messages about that for you. So like my girl Lena says, I have no idea what happened once again, I fell asleep. So it's a thing Lena's got in the full moon ceremony, she falls asleep frequently. She doesn't mean to, but it's not falling asleep. I feel like we just go so deep in there because you came back as soon as I'm like, okay, come back now. And you're like, oh, I fell asleep again. No, you just went deep into it, yeah? So if you did, Fall asleep, did really fall asleep, <laughs> right? Oh, you're so welcome, Penny. So Carlo says, powerful. Kirsty's like, oh my God, Debbie's wow. Leanne's wow. <laughs> yeah, Wendy said, loving this as well. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna come over there, guys, and um, let's let's have a debrief. It's easier for me to come up to the the space over here next to the next to the camera so this is this is this is standard for our full moon ceremonies by the way right what you just experienced that's standard <laughs> standard for full moon ceremony okay i'm gonna be all golden because the lights i think if i just turn it down a bit okay that's good all right it's really bright hang on now I'm standing really close to it. There we go. Okay, I don't think I'm golden. I'm kind of golden, but that's good because I am gold. <laughs> yeah. Yep, all right, make sure that my skirt's not showing you guys the rest of the wow. There we go, that's better. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, let's have a debrief. Yeah, this is standard, super standard in full moon ceremony. So, just got a taste of it. Gorgeous and golden. <laughs> all right. How are we going? All right. Okay, hang on a sec, comments, let me check. Lots of sapphire crystals, awesome sapphire is spiritual truth, yeah? Spiritual truth, lots of truth realizations. Okay, this is awesome. So, okay, Lee says, I haven't met my dragon before, so beautiful. Oh, how beautiful are dragons? And honestly, guys, like they are the best protectors. If you, um, you know, like a, you know how we do energy clearing and we're like, okay, let's clear our chakras or clear our energy or put white light in our body or in our house, right? You can ask your dragon to literally clear your energy so you can connect with your dragon 
and your dragon has like a, you know how dragons breathe fire, right? Well, your dragon will have a specific type of fire. So just like the fire that we saw in the um, pine forest, the fire is, um, you know, like it's like a platinum liquid sort of a fire. It's different, right? Like it's, it's been like that's every time we journey to that, it's always that. Even in the triple goddess meditation, it's this like liquid fire, right? So you can connect with your dragon and ask your dragon to show you its fire because it might be normal fire. It might be like ice. It might be like a different sort of a frequency fire. And you can literally, you know, when you ask your dragon to clear energy for you and it can literally like kind of blow it through you. So it's obviously not burning you, right? It's like a energy that blows through you and totally like clears you, yeah? It can also like suck entities out of you as well. So it's very, and it flies off and takes them to the womb of transformations. It's very powerful to really connect with your dragon. Obviously you guys need it to meet your dragon, to walk into 2021 and beyond with your dragon. So awesome awesome uh every single time yeah <laughs> so amazing Lena. oh my goodness um i'd love to have in person and see if you you probably do the same in person <laughs> i can't wait for in person i'm so excited about that keep an eye out guys curious what's happening next year ah. all right haven't met my dragon for yes so that was so amazing you're so welcome kirsty Penelope says, wow, thanks for guiding us. Met my dragon for the first time tonight. She cried with relief and gratitude when I finally recognized and acknowledged her. So powerful. And honestly, the dragons are heart activation. It's plain and simple, pure heart activation, yeah? Uh, Tabitha says, wow, yummy, my first dragon experience. Yes, I first had grief to leave my dragon. Yes, see, and this is where I said at the end, I'm like, and your dragon's still by your side, actually. Um, because the dragons tap us into the heart. They are big heart healers. When our dragon shows up or when you are guided to meet your dragon, so obviously you were guided here tonight, um, you're ready to heal your heart. Yeah, if it's the first time that you've met your dragon, you're ready for heart activation, you're ready for healing your heart, you're ready to live from your heart, you're ready to be in your heart rather than your, in your head and really do the deep work to heal your heart. So welcome guys to this heart frequency journey. <laughs> yeah, but I had massive strength and confidence from the power of the dragon, such a gift. Yeah, so powerful, right? You can walk by your side all the time, yeah? Tashana says, absolutely incredible, Hannah. So beautiful. Thank you so much. I feel amazing. Yeah, so good. The energy was like, I could feel it all, like pulsating, oscillating. It was amazing, right? So lots of sapphire crystals. Yes, awesome. I feel amazing now though, Lena says, feeling super light in the heart space. Yeah, it was big heart activation tonight, right? So Alison says, amazing. So much deep releasing. Lovely blue dragon. Yeah, I love that. Yes. Lots of deep releasing it happens when we work with the heart, yeah? So Tammy says, my dragon was absolutely beautiful. Her eyes were such a warm ombre color and left me filled with such warmth, yeah. So I, I, just, I love dragons. Dragons are my thing. <laughs> dragons are my thing. <laughs> uh, so Tashana says, that music is incredible. At one point I was so deep and thought it said my name, yeah. <laughs> it's powerful, right? That's the beautiful Jeremy Donovan um, that we heard in the center there. Steve says, that was wow. <laughs> Felt like my journey went inward and my cave was my base chakra. Yes, <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. So powerful, right? You know how I always say, guys, I'm like, when we work with the ear chakras, we activate the heart and then we activate the base. Like the ears, the heart and the base activate at the same time, right? So um, when we're like, you know, like we went deep in the heart. So it's like straight down to the base that, you know, it was so awesome. Love, I love that that was your um, base, Steve. It's so good. Sarah said I had smoky quartz. Smoky quartz is like one of my favorite crystals. Smoky quartz is like, it's like a, um, I don't know what it is, like a saying or a message from smoky quartz is like the darker, the better. Because the darker holds more light frequency. The darker it is, the more light can be taken there. The more light that is there, right? I love smoky quartz. And smoky quartz is so grounding and clearing and um, enables us to take the light into the darkest parts of our being. So I love that you had the smoky quartz. Um, deep in the heart you're like let's put the that in there yeah yeah awesome because i know for you sarah oh i feel that 
Sarah says, amazing, so much clearing, never been so powerful before, yeah. Welcome to standard full moon ceremony feels, guys. <laughs> this is literally the conversations we have after. Our full moon ceremonies go for like two hours because we're like debriefing for like an hour afterwards. <laughs> well, kind of, it feels like that at times. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So Tabitha says my dragon was purple and so very powerful. Yeah, I love that. Amethyst crystals and selenite towers, so beautiful. My fire was silvery violet flames. Yeah, I love that. I love it. And it's like, I don't know, when I see the fire, it was like, it's not, um, it's not like a normal fire, you know? So, yeah. Sarah says, mine was black and it cleared my throat. I had full codes coming into my crown, restructuring my energy. Yes. <laughs> that. <laughs> That's what we want. <laughs> yes. So, Tashana says divine channeling crystal already had two dragons now i have a third and he is beautiful purple gold and silver absolutely stunning and such a comforting energy for me yes my skin changed and morphed when i was riding him it was so unbelievably cool yeah how freaking awesome is it when we change like and it's all good if you don't change on your dragon but yeah it's like that's like the ultimate connection, like, you know, with avatar sort of style, you know, when they're like connecting their tail and they ride with the dragons, kind of like that, right? Yeah, so much platinum, bright violet fire, says Lee, yes, lots of the violet. I saw lots of purple through my third eye as well. I was just like actually seeing the colors. I haven't seen that for a while. So yeah, it was really strong. I was like, wow, it was really, really strong, really strong. Uh, so Kirsty says I had amethyst crystals all through my caves. Lots of amethyst here tonight. This is awesome. Um, all through my cave and a waterfall pool of plasma light water. It was magical. Yes. <laughs> oh, so good. Wendy says, wow, my dragon was so beautiful. A lot of pearl essence color. A dragon made me feel really safe, protected. Teal blue crystal in cave. His name trigger, trigger, no, trifagoo, trifagoo. I'm probably not pronouncing that correct. <laughs> this was a major first time. Thank you, Hannah. Oh, you're so welcome, Wendy. You're so, so welcome, guys. Danny says, so special. Thank you. I love my dragon. I know. I thought of you because the dragon is coming through and I was like getting everything organized, like all afternoon, actually. I was just like, and I was just thinking of you. I think I was talking to you on WhatsApp as well. <laughs> yeah. Jackie says, I remembered riding my dragon. Yes, yes. <laughs> Amanda says, I've never cried in a ceremony. I bawled my eyes out at the beginning when you mentioned the heart. There was such deep heart healing here tonight, wasn't there? Could feel it. Big heart frequency. And ultimately, that's preparing us for the energy frequency that's coming in. That, you know, December 25th is when we're really going to start feeling it. Between the 25th and the 1st of January is like the peak of this energy, yeah? And so there might be a lot of heart feels. If you're feeling a lot of anxiety and stuff around that time, just like always remember, anxiety is too much energy in the heart, okay? Take some time out, get some space, go outside, put your heart on a tree, right? Like serious, it resets your frequency body energy like that, yeah? Take a couple of deep breaths and breathe with the tree and I tell you, it will go away instantly, okay? Um, so yeah, just like it's preparing us for the level of energy that's coming in because this is where it's being activated, yeah? Obviously through our whole body, but that's a big part, yeah? Uh, so Leanne says, my heart and internal com compass, <laughs> I was gonna say comment, compass. My heart and internal compass was bright green at first, same with directions. Saw the giants appear with the ancestors, yes, how amazing is it with them around, like, oh, so awesome, right? Um, fire was bright plasma red in the beginning. The crystal for me was angel aura. Went through to a bright green and went to a sapphire cave. Yeah, there's a sapphire here as well. Laid on a crystal bed, yes. My dragon straight up cleared my energy as soon as he appeared with bright red fire. Yes, felt so purifying, he was black. And then he turned to a deep black blue after the cave. Returning to the plasma fire, it was bright white light blue. My color was internal compass thing at the end. Yes, awesome. As was my internal compass, perfect. Kirsty says, I could feel my energy being cleared with the crystals inside the moon, the clear quartz. Yeah, how powerful was that? And even like when we're like flying to the crystal and I'm like, oh, it's actually really huge. Like as we kept getting closer, I'm like, this is how massive it is when we get flying to it. I'm like, that was, that was pretty amazing. It was actually like a portal, so awesome. 
Dragons in the heart. Yeah, so very powerful, the dragons. Oh, David says, wow, lots of tears. Deep release the activations in the heart. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, guys. Oh, it's so special. Yeah, it's honestly the dragons in the heart. Yeah, I'm so glad you guys have had tears tonight. Like that, it was, I want to say, that was a big part of my intention, like to really shift your heart yeah and sometimes that brings on the tears we're here to feel if we're not feeling we're not living yeah tabitha says you made my night <laughs> thank you so much for doing this for us yeah you're so welcome so leanne says i could see others hannah looked so bright and like a queen with golden white light energetic moon crown at the end oh <laughs> i was just about to ask if anyone could see like everyone else as well so awesome right having that so good. All right, just checking these comments here. Okay. All right, there's someone here from Germany, is there? And I'm trying to translate it. Okay. So I see you and I hear you. Okay, Sarah says, wow, yes. Amanda says, when, I, when my dragon looked in my eyes, I fully activated. Yes. You could feel the energetic change in my body. It was awesome. Honestly, guys, it is so powerful to connect with the eyes of the dragon. Like when they originally came through to me in 2018, that was a big part of it. Like the eyes and, you know, as you're flying, riding, just connecting with them, the eye connection, is is big yeah so cool yes lee says wow my body felt strong like a warrior goddess base, base chakra so activated i'm so glad guys i'm so glad it's so good to get your base chakra activated base chakra is life purpose deep connection with the heart we want that aligned um and it also pulls us into our body right so if our base chakra is closed we're not like in our body and we can't function right like causes all these issues so when we're in Everything else flows, yeah? All right, so good, so good. Okay, so me too, so everyone is warriors, so awesome. Sarah says, my dragon was black, that is yes. And Christine says, I love the depth of the meditation, yes. Yeah, this is deep as the normal. <laughs> This is normal, as I said to you guys, I'm like, this is normal. <laughs> um, my dragon is so feminine and young and super powerful and strong and more. Good, connect with her more. It's honestly, they're so powerful. Uh, Leanne says, yes, I saw my clothing change and I could feel my dragon like so real. Yes, it, it's so, it is real, right? It is real. And it's interesting, right? Some people say to me and they do my meditations and they do my activations and they're like, Oh, well, I don't know. I was just imagining this, you know, and I'm like, no, this is your intuition, especially when you're in like a space with me doing this, whether it's a recording or live or in person soon. Um, <laughs> you know, like this is, this is it. Like it, this is, it's not, you're not imagining it. This is your intuition. So clear because you are so clear and we don't realize because it's so normal for us. And so really know and take away from this that your intuition is so clear so clear yeah tammy says my crystalline chakras have been left shimmering and sparkling alive love it so good hi deborah all right so lee says i totally felt like i was in avatar mm -hmm. <laughs> it's amazing right it's amazing so dana murder says huge quartz points and moonstones. My daughter was flying with me on her dragon. Went through the crystal into my sacred grove and my dragon took me right up to the waterfall, told me to go in and then through. The water was a liquid molten silver moon platinum. And then we went through into a beautiful crystal cave. My dragon is green, but she came, became green and turquoise. Oh, so beautiful those energies. There's been a lot of that color around lately. Penelope says, yes, I had Violet Amethyst in my cave. My dragon's name is Saba. Any ideas on her name meaning? You want to ask her that question? That would be the first person I would ask is her. <laughs> yeah, or him. Um, and it was such a lovely privilege to meet you all and your dragons tonight too. Love to you all. I know how special is it? How special is it when we're like in this space 
and then like we see everyone else around because we're all here together right and all around the world and this is the thing with these ceremonies like it's different to you know a lot of you have done at least one of my meditations i'm sure and we're just doing it on our own right but when we're in a ceremony and then we're all there like it's like we're in person well we're not but it's like it's good enough for now <laughs> right in a way um, and it really helps us to like connect and we just feel like like we're all here together, right? So special um, so, <laughs> uh, so And Tabitha says now how will I sleep tonight with all the excitement of nine dragons? <laughs> you can ask them to help you go to sleep <laughs> Definitely All right So the light and energy pulsating in and out around me so Tammy says, oh yeah, and that was Dana Murder, yes. Tammy says, my Lemurian ancestors were the ones to appear for me. So awesome. Yes, yes, yes. So good. All right. Okay, so Dana Murder says, oh, and my daughter came in right at the end and placed my clear quartz selenite and ruby on and around me. <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> Of course you did. Love it. Um, and Deborah says, it's so nice these days. I feel love for the earth. So thankful in the love for this house. Yes. So Tammy says, along with my Palladians as well. Yes. Lots of beings and breathing. Yeah. So much there. When my dragon looked at my eyes, the deep green eyes. The eyes are so special, aren't they? It's so special. Is it okay to see the eyes of the dragon when I close my eyes? Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, so in one of my dragon spirit guide activations that I have, um, you can literally get your dragon to activate your eyes so you have dragon eyes, yeah? Yes, warrior women, so good. It was so beautiful to connect and journey with everyone tonight. Yeah, special. I love it. We often go cruising around together on our dragons in the moon ceremony. I know. It's so freaking awesome. I know. It's so awesome. So guys, you just got a deep taste of what the full moon ceremony is. This is like, this is standard. This is standard. This is normal. <laughs> all these feelings, all the connections, right? And because this, the full moon ceremony is a bit like a smaller group, um, I usually call everyone by name into the space, but on this live stream, I mean, I don't even think everyone's commenting that's here right now. So, yeah, so hi, Pauline. So Dana Motor says, I love it. We often go, oh yeah, you just said that, sorry. <laughs> it's coming up. So I'm going to pull a card for the Oracle from the Dragon Fae. Whoops, I don't think it's about around the right way. That's okay. Just to, which is like all the dragons. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull a card just to, Finish our beautiful total solar eclipse on this beautiful frequency of energy. And our full moon ceremony will be in two weeks. It's like a day before New Year's um, Eve. So it's the last full moon of 2020. So I have a feeling it's going to be a powerful one because of like it's the end of the year. It's the end of the year. It's a partial solar eclipse, partial lunar eclipse, partial solar eclipse. Get confused. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to check that one. <laughs> Um, and the, in the inner circle, look at that one, it fell out. Oh, this is special. Okay. Oh, check it out. Look at all the purple crystals in there. Look at all the purple crystals. I know a lot of you had amethyst and this is boundaries, a roll key, a roll key with boundaries and the crystals. So you know how I said they're really good at protecting the energy, um, protecting around us. So um definitely help you to have the strength the courage the confidence to be able to say no when you need to yeah and to have that energetic protection when you're in a situation that you can't escape from in that moment right like put your put your dragon in front of you <laughs> right right there boundaries um the amethyst deeply connected to the crown so that self-care boundaries, and it's interesting because that kind of leads into this without looking in the book just yet. This one, just like the dragon woman, right? In a way, lady of the new buds. It says, nurture tenderness. Where does tenderness come from? Oh, our heart. When we have a lot of pain in our heart, 
that's when we are hardened, yeah? When we can release the pain in our heart, it's when we soften. And when we soften, that's where the peace is, that's where everything manifests in your life, that's where space is. Some people are not comfortable with space, they have to be doing all the time. But in the doing all the time, nothing can come in and you're full and you're stressed out. But in the space and the tenderness is where everything manifests. We all know that we don't manifest from our mind. We have to be conscious of our thoughts. Oh yeah. We have to train our brain and discipline our minds so we don't go into those spirals. Oh yeah. But the manifestation, the real manifestation comes from the energy frequency of our heart and our overall vibe. And the vibes, they come from our heart. So if you're having, tra having trouble manifesting stuff in your life, having trouble even saying it, <laughs> interesting, work with your heart. Work with softening. Work with creating boundaries around your time and energy so that you have more time to nurture tenderness. Literally what it says, nurture tenderness. Because without the boundaries, you can't nurture your heart's desires, your heart's calling, what, what it is that you can't even hear your heart. You're so busy and full. Yeah? So I'm just gonna read this, Lady of the New Buds, 25. Good night, Tabitha. Uh, is this 25? Yes. So Tashana says, ah, uh, giggling right now because lots of nurturing for self, finally, <laughs> and setting and respecting my boundaries. Yes. I feel like that's what 2021 is about for a lot of us. Yeah? So good. Okay. This one. The lady of the new bud speaks. See how my garden has grown about me. See how my children, the darling buds, clamor for my attention. They cry at night and can be so touchy during the day. I must shelter them from harshness and keep them in a safe place till they are strong enough to branch out. Even then my watchful eye will look out for their care. You see, so many people see the beauty and do not understand where it sprang from, the rich, loamy soil, the sweet water poured down from the dragon fay into this earth, the minerals of the natural realms of the light of the sun and the shining sweetness of the crystal moon have all anointed my garden with their blessings. And then there is me. So many see my garden and wonder at it, but they do not see the work and the care that has preceded my domain. It is beauty. Its beauty is a result of love, care, natural growth, and attention to each and every one of its inhabitants. When your growth appears around you from the seeds that you have planted, take some time to tend to this garden. Enlist the assistance of like-minded souls, and just as you would not feed these tender buds poisons and pollutants, do not feed your ideas, the opinions and energies of those who are not in integrity. <laughs> Check it out, boundaries again. Big time of coming into big alignment, guys. This activation tonight of your heart, if there is something that you have been in denial about or waiting for the right time, <laughs> Get ready, it's about to come. Anything that is not in the pure true frequency of the heart frequency that you are, that was deeply activated and embodied tonight, will disintegrate from your life in the next couple of months, especially by the end of next year. Yeah? So, and that is simply because the alignment of your soul's calling is calling. Yeah? Of your heart. Stay true to the vision of your creation and truly take a little time each day to tend to this garden, be it of love, ideas, little ones or creative endeavors until they are robust and begin to grow in their own energy. 
For now is the tender time, the time when the buds are at most risk from the frost of rejection, the poison of judgment, and the choke of cruelty. Be vigilant, and you too will have a garden for all to enjoy and love. Many will feel you are fortunate indeed to have created such a beautiful Eden, but they will not see the care you have taken to grow this. But I have seen, and I have seen it all. Nurture tenderness. All that you have created, nurture it, love it, be there for it, spend time with it. And that comes creating boundaries, beautiful boundaries. Yeah, how special, how special. That is our beautiful dragon heart activation. So yeah, and that's what it says like, um, so the other meanings of the card, an affinity with flowers or gardens. There was someone, one of my clients, a big flower thing at the moment. Oh yes, I think it was, I know who it is. <laughs> um, projects need tending, care every day for small matters and the large will take care for themselves. So if you feel like you haven't got time to tend to the thing, you need to tend to the thing. Then, now. No, no tomorrow, no excuses, because you're on its mind and you're like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, no. That's your sign, you need to tend to that now, everything else can wait. Yeah, so important. Resisting change is resisting the life force itself. So that's what I was just saying before and I got that message, I'm like, anything that you're in denial about or been waiting for the right time to make the big changes, uh, it's gonna happen now. Yeah, it's gonna happen now. Um, because, and if you've been feeling drained or not sleeping or like what's happening, Resisting change is resisting the life force itself. Yeah? So when you are, you know, you're, you're getting intuition to change things, do things, and you're not, you step out of that flow. You, you do, you step out of that flow. So you're no longer like in this flow and movement. You've stepped out and it's hard over here. You're not able to flow. Yeah? It's not, you're not in the river. You're like going against it in a way, right? Trying to stop in the middle of the river and that's freaking exhausting. It doesn't, doesn't work that way. Uh, look at everything in nature. The seed does not remain a seed. The seedling grows. The tree seems unrelated to its origins, but at the moment, by holding on tight to the person you believe you must be, you are running the risk of denying your own life force. How interesting. Change is positive. Stasis is a resting point. Can work well as a life choice. It can be kind of a slow death. Pretty much what we we're just talking about, right? <laughs> Um, the emergence will come at the right time because the bud will be forced to flower at some stage. Do not allow yourself to wither in the bud. Divine guidance needs practical application and work. Did we hear that? I'm going to repeat it again. Divine guidance, also known as your intuition, divine guidance needs practical application and work. Uh, that's why the boundaries and the crown chakra with the amethyst, right, are... Divine guidance, amethyst, ideas, crown chakra, ideas. Divine guidance needs practical application and work. Oh, there was lots of us that had base chakra activation. That's where we put things into action, yeah? Um, action teamed with inspiration will create a beautiful, bountiful paradise. Work hard at what it is you love. You love. How beautiful. That, that is so special. It's like so in alignment, right? So many of us are like, oh yes, that's what I've just been doing. <laughs> How special. All right, let me check these. Um, let me check these, uh, these comments. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So Dana Merton says, Dana Merton, I'll do it again. Dana, Dana Merton, Dana Merton. Okay. Dana Merton. <laughs> So much this today for me. And my daughter's dragon is orange and purple. My dragons told me that she was safe with her dragon whilst I did my work. Oh, so good. <laughs> See, they even babysitters. <laughs> Leanne says, getting told boundaries are also around getting the work done, then play. Yes, setting boundaries. I say this to my clients. I'm like, just do 30 minutes, set a timer, just do 30 minutes, and then you can do the other stuff. <laughs> and do the hardest thing first thing in the morning. Yeah, so... Thing that you don't want to do, do it first thing in the morning because it's done and then you can just chew out. I know for me, if I don't, by the end of the day, I'm stressed out and I'm like, because <gasps> because I've done the thing that I have resistance to. But if you do it first thing in the morning, I oh, can kind of chill out for the rest of the day, even though I'm not chilling out, but it feels like it. <laughs> yeah, it's powerful. It's a combination of love and earth, the beauty of everything as one. Yes. 
Oh, today marks 12 months since I told my ex to leave. What a powerful portal and heart healing. Oh my God, what timing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, so awesome. You're so welcome, Steve, so welcome. Lee says, perfect message for right now going into the new year. Yes, haven't been tending to things. Resistance has been big to the last few weeks, yes. Yeah, I feel like things are going to start really moving forward now. So definite heart activation, but also the eclipse. I meant to say that too. So in the eclipse too, like I, in the ceremony then, I felt like for me it was this, um, you know, like as the eclipse was like, you know, as it all was coming into alignment and then obviously it keeps moving past each other, right? In the sky or whatever. And so like it was almost like as it was like coming in, it was like scraping away all the shit out of our aura from all the past stuff. And then it was like new beginnings. Like that's how it felt for me. Um... So, and so what I'm sharing that for, so the, when you talk about the resistance, I feel like, you know, like the, the resistance is like, um, you know, it's like all of that coming to a head. So, you know, too, I was shared at the start of the live stream and I was like, everything's like expanding, the bandwidth is expanding, expanding, and everyone's like, I'm the light or the dark or the, the good or the bad or whatever. And everyone's like, what's happening? And then all of a sudden, like, it's going to kind of snap back in. And then it's just going to kind of find its balance in a whole new wave frequency is what it feels like. So I feel like the resistance has been like that, like a resistance band is that, you know what I mean? And I feel like from this eclipse, it's going to move forward. And then like from the, um, like you could see the, it's, it's not what I'm explaining with like the snap of the band, so to speak, is not how the energy is going to be, but a way I could describe it. Because if you think of like the eclipse and it's like shifted and so now everything's like kind of coming in together because it was like this build up, build up, build up and now it's like past and it's like that's the snapping of the band so to speak and then I feel like it's all coming in and then as the, the planets line up on the 21st and then by the 25th is when it's, it's like, you know, so everything's coming back in from, say, the band snapping, for example. It's coming in, and then at the 25th, that's where the high frequency energy, that's when it's all kind of merging or, you know, and it's finding a whole new frequency of the whole new together, you know. So it could be like an integration of the light and the dark. Actually, I have seen that. I think I shared that last night. The, um, uh, so the numerology apparently is like 2442, for the 21st and so it's like 2442 so it's like a mirror like a palindrome a bit like my name you know balance <laughs> um and it's kind of like so the light and the dark and so that makes total sense right of like the like bandwidth expanding and then it's like you know clipping back together and coming into um and it's is that my siri talking no oh my goodness you're working yeah <laughs> it is it is okay i'm just gonna go um, and so it's like a, it's the it's the integration of the light and the dark. Um, the integration of the light and the dark is what is like I, I personally feel is what the December twenty fifth stuff is that you know everyone's talking about. So like I said, if you feel anxiety and stuff around in your heart around that time, like go outside, get in a tree. You're just it's just a new like it's the energy coming in. Of course, check if you're not carrying somebody's energy, etc. Um, but it's that high frequency energy, like just allow yourself to receive it, ask your dragon to help your heart open to receive that and your whole body frequency, yeah? And remember that internal compass that expanded, right? So it's like a whole new internal compass. I think I need to record a, a new internal compass for meditation, actually. <laughs> okay, got that one. <laughs> um, because that is like, yeah, it feels like the whole new... Um, like you've got that, that's also a container holding you energetically, right? All right. You're so welcome, Lee. So welcome. Pauline says, I just remembered I keep seeing purple afternoon flashes of bright red dots. It was all over the cards. I was wondering what it was. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the ceremony tonight. <laughs> you told your ex today to leave today too. Ah, huge, huge portal times. Amazing, right? So awesome. Oh, thank you so much for joining, guys. This is so special to be able to give you an experience of what we do in the full moon ceremony. Like, there's so many that I'm just like, oh my god, everybody needs to hear this. Like, sometimes we come out of them and we're just like, whoa, that was like, <laughs> that was next level. <laughs> oh, so amazing. So, so amazing. Oh, all right, guys. I love you heaps. I shall see you really soon. So much to share coming up.
I'm almost ready to share it all. <laughs> almost ready. I love you guys. Mwah.